If we could all sort of go to the center a little bit, don't. Sure. Eddie, be sure you're seen now. I'm starting to look like a rabbit. You don't want to get it. And we tell this, when this fellow walks in the door, we tell him this is all for him. What's going to happen? Y'all happy birthday. Okay. He's going to clap. He's scared to death. Okay, if we could all say Jimmy Clack. I'll say Jimmy Clack. One, two, three, Jimmy Clack. Good morning, I'm David Combs, Mayor of the City of Rocky Mount, and I'm here this morning uh, with Eddie Baston and some other supporters and friends of Jim Clack uh, for the uh, Jim Clack Foundation. This is their grand opening and ribbon cutting. Uh, I'll have to say one thing, I did go to the chamber first. I'm so used to seeing Eddie at the chamber that my car automatically went over that way. But uh, you know, Jim Clack's been uh, somebody that everybody that grew up in this community have known for many, many years. I can remember when I came back from college in 1975 there was a Jim Clack uh, day that year uh, I think Mayor Turnage was in his first term as mayor and uh, so it, it goes a long way back here in Rocky Mount and certainly Jim was an inspiration for a lot of young people in this community for many many years and it's appropriate that this foundation is here in Rocky Mount and uh, it's going to do a lot of good things for people um, with families that, that have cancer, and uh, I'm going to let Eddie Basin say more about that in a minute. But I do want to thank everybody for being here and supporting the Jim Clack Foundation. And uh, from the city of Rocky Mount, we do have something for you. It just says, presented to the Jim Clack Foundation on the occasion of their grand opening and ribbon cutting with sincere best wishes. And this comes from myself and the entire city council and really the city of Rocky Mount. So I want to present this to you, Eddie. Thank you very much, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, it, is, uh, it is truly humbling to be standing here today because uh, uh, I see so many of my friends from the chamber whom I love dearly. Uh, this is the, one of the biggest turnouts I have ever seen for a ribbon cutting, and I was president for almost 10 years. That makes me so proud because not only do I see the ambassador program at full force, uh, I think that uh, we're trying to get Jim Clack's name and its missions uh, out before the public, uh, and we're doing we're doing that now. Uh, Jim died of uh, heart failure, but but battled cancer for many many years. He's in the Wake Forest Hall of Fame. He's in the National Twin County Hall of Fame. Uh, he was a two-time uh, Super Bowl winner with the with the Pittsburgh Steelers, and uh, and and is in the North Carolina Hall of Fame, Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, he was a great guy. I knew him. I grew up with him. He and I and Jimmy Arrington were tri-captains uh, of a junior high team that went undefeated, unscored on. And uh, uh, he wrote a template. I'm going to let his sister, Linda Clack uh, Brown, I'm going to let his sister talk about this. He wrote a template that was uh, basically our mission statement for uh, uh, working with, with cancer victims. And I'm going to let his sister, Linda, speak to that. I want to thank you all for being here today, and, and I was thinking of what Jim would think if he were here. He would feel so honored that you're all here and that his mission is taken off here in his hometown. It couldn't be better. Jim started this foundation before his death. A week before he died, he actually visited with me, and he had just received the letter from the IRS saying that he did have the nonprofit status. He was just so thrilled. That's all he talked about all day as we sat on the porch. And he said, Lynn, I know the importance because I have been there. He found out he had cancer. And there was really other than, of course, family and close friends, but someone he could just really tell everything to because you don't want to tell your, your wife or, or your, even your sister or close family that you're scared. What are you going to do when you've got to be their strength? So that's when he realized the need of having a mentor at the beginning of your journey. Hospice does a fantastic job, but theirs is more at the end, and he wanted to put something in place for the beginning. He died a week later, and now his dream is coming to reality, and I want to thank everyone that has a part in this for what you're doing. Thank you, Linda. You can go ahead and clap. Good to, see all, good to see all my chamber friends, I swear it is. Uh, May Parker, the world's greatest community servant here, our board uh, member. Linda Clack, of course, is on our board. And Debbie B. Bullock. Where's Debbie B.? Debbie B. Bullock, city councilman and, uh, and our treasurer. 
Uh, we need uh, mentors to be trained. Uh, quite frankly, right now, uh, and thanks to WHIG, always, always, always for their great job, and to our ambassadors, we need people who need to be mentored. We need patients referred to us, victims of cancer. Uh, can be the middle of a, of, of, of a lifelong experience. It could be a, a immediately upon diagnosis. Uh, but right now we have 16 uh, individuals who have been uh, trained. We're working through the medical community. That's a real key for us. Uh, if you have friends and family that would like someone to make a, an occasional phone call, uh, take them to Wake Med, take them to Nash General, take them to East Carolina, wherever the case may be, uh, do a little grocery shopping, not a lifelong commitment, but a uh, but a commitment of love. Then please get in, in touch with us. Uh, we our, our foundation has a website, and uh, you can find me. I'm 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 around uh, and about town. But thank you so much, uh, Mayor, and for all the great work you guys do. Uh, Jim Clack would truly truly be proud today. Thank you, Eddie. And just how how do people get in touch with you or the foundation? There's their phone number, the uh, website. Phone number is. Uh, Phone number is two six six four zero four nine. They can go to uh, the uh, the chamber website. Uh, thanks to the chamber for all they've done to get us uh, jump started. Uh, our uh, we have a, um, a a listing on the chamber website under the membership directory, and uh, uh, people can find me just about anywhere. Well, we, we want to thank everybody for being here today. Uh, again, it's a great occasion. Uh, everybody in Rocky Mountain knows who Glenn, uh, Jim Clack was and, and obviously had a lot of success on the football field, but he also had a lot of success off the football field as well, and, and he's continuing it today. So we want to thank you all for being here today. And, and Eddie, as always, got one more thing to say. I forgot, I forgot my buddy little Norman, uh, Norman Jamless and Vicki Parker uh, are uh, – part of the management team for this facility. Uh, Norman is not only a, a Wake Forest graduate, uh, he grew up like I did with Jimmy, and I know he's honored to be here today as well. I'll say one thing about what I was thinking when David was making the introductory remarks. There were probably several times back in the late 60s, David, where in the same room might have been you, me, Eddie, Herbie. We worked together. The three of us worked together in, after um, after uh, high school uh, in the afternoons. And Jimmy was always uh, there and around and such a wonderful person. And, Eddie, you were so involved. And to think you fast forward your life to 2012, and he's the one that's missing. But all of us are here to represent him and try to carry on his memory. And um, uh, Jimmy would be – he would probably be embarrassed. But at the same time, he would be unbelievably proud – that uh, Eddie, you would carry on his legacy such as you have, and that David, you would be involved involved in pub, public service like you are. So I'm proud of everybody here. He, uh, thank you. He he loved Rocky Mountain. I tell you that. Sherry from the chamber. Good morning. I'm Sherry Johnson, the interim CEO at the Rocky Mountain Chamber of Commerce, uh, following in Eddie's footsteps. Uh, we would like to welcome. The Jim Clack Foundation as a new member of our Chamber of Commerce. And to tell you, I went on your website this morning just to read a little bit about it, and it was just so touching, Linda and Eddie. I mean, I think this is such an outreach that will be in this community, and so many people are in need of this comfort that you provide, uh, the support that you can give, the mentoring that you can do to new people who have been diagnosed with cancer. And it's just, as you said, it's a humbling experience. And I know it is, and as you know, we will help you at the chamber. We will continue to put your things on the website. And really, this is just such an important thing for our community that we want to be involved and help you in any way that we can. Lisa Ferguson from the Holiday Inn did a masterful job of, of hosting a Super Bowl event recently. Uh, that event, uh, connected us with some people that we think are going to be game changers for our foundation and we thank you so much Lisa. Uh, first off I want to thank everybody that came down today obviously in this community nothing gets done without everybody that's here and people like this in the community that are active in the community so uh, I do want to thank everybody for being here thank Eddie for you and uh, the foundation and what you're going to do in this community so again thank you all for being here today.